the, the first question I wanted to just throw out there for conversation that I always get is, do I have an angel? Like, is, are, is a guardian angel, is that real? And do I have one? And is there an angel around me? And the angel genealogy is really important because in the channeling that came through, spirit showed me that not only do we have an angel affiliation or we have a guardian angel, but we actually have what spirit calls a grandfather archangel, an archangel who literally had a hand in our creation. And through this channeling and me kind of mapping out these different angels from my vantage point without going through or into different mystical systems of thought around angels, really just based on the channeling that was coming through for me, I started to map out their energies and, and um, what that felt like. But through doing that, I can very quickly determine whether somebody is a Michael person. Like, oh, Michael definitely had a hand in your creation because look how, look at your energy. I can feel it. I can definitely tell someone like you who's got aerial energy, very uh, nature elementals and fairy and earth energy and animals. And that's just all for me. It's about aerial. But you can actually tell the archangel a person is affiliated with if you pay attention to their energy. That's mm -hmm. something cool that I've done. But let me answer that question. Do I have an angel? Does everybody have an angel? The answer is yes. Everybody has a guardian angel, at least one. Some of us have many, many guardian angels. And when I say guardian angel, I, I mean specifically an angel that walks with us from the time that we came into this life to the time that we peace out and exit. We have at least one companion angel. We call this being an angel, but in actuality, it doesn't necessarily mean that's what they are in terms of a class of being. Your guardian angel can actually be an ancestor, a member of your soul group, an ascended master, a spirit animal, or even an interdimensional. But every single one of us has at least one companion guide that is with us for our entire life. Now, that again is, is a guardian guide or a permanent guide, meaning they're with us the entire time. But you have other angels and guides that enter into our life situationally. And so we call these situation guides. So when you're ready to up level into the next big project that you've got going on, maybe you need to, not you specifically, universally, you, maybe you need to learn how to speak on stage in public, or maybe you need to learn how to write a book because that's a big part of your purpose. Well, once you're ready to do that, it's very common for angels and guides to cycle into your life to help you, to give you the energy, the resources, and the synchronicity for you to do whatever it is you're being called to do or whatever it is you're getting uh, called through. Sometimes when we're going through pieces, uh, excuse me, times of grief and times of sadness, times of loss, we have different archangels and angels who become present to us and just help us get through that season of our life. But absolutely, yes, indeed, we all have angels. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. And you have situational angels. And you can also, any of the archangels that are known, you can, you can call on them for the assistance that you or or for their you know for a, it doesn't really matter like you'll feel the the presence of that archangelic energy and they could be surrounding you with other beings of light that carry through that help and that support and so while what's interesting though i have a question for you mm -hmm. so gabriel is would you consider gabriel probably that grandfather angel then for you yes mm -hmm. and and yet yeah, you work a lot with metatron a lot with metatron exactly mm -hmm. And so Gabriel being that grandfather, for a lack of a better term, mm -hmm. had, the, had a hand in your, the creation of your, your oversoul and then your, the dispatch of your multidimensional consciousness. Do you, I, I, I wonder how you experience Gabriel regularly or how you work with Gabriel regularly. Is, is it as present or as common or as distinctive as when you're working with Metatron or other angelic energies? No, it feels more familial. It feels very familiar and very close. And it's like, I wouldn't even notice it unless he walked in with an astronaut's helmet on. Like he's just <laughs> yes. a, a companion spirit. But it, I, I wonder if, if they had a hand in our creation as a soul complex and an oversoul, are we little angels? You yes, know, Christ said you are... A, are my little Gabriel, are you little Ariel, like showing up because they're the ones that 
dispatched aspects of themselves into different realities just as we did. And so maybe we're, you're a little Ariel living in 3D and you align with Ariel. You have so much in common, but maybe that's because you're actually Ariel. I think that's... Exactly. That's, I, I, you and I haven't talked about that before, but that's what it's like when I wanted... I did a class last year, Archangels and Universal Laws, and of course I'm going to do one of those on Ariel. And it was like, oh, I can't believe I haven't channeled Ariel before, <laughs> you know what I mean? Or, right. it's, it's almost like it takes actually almost like in a way a more focus to be able to get a distinctive message because it just, it's, this is how I teach when I'm talking to people about beginning to communicate with animals and that it's actually in a way easier to start with other people's animals to hear their literary voice because your own animal's literary voice is already in your energy like right. your own. And that's so to perfect. be able to distinguish it, you got to focus really hard. And that's what it's like with Ariel. It's like, I'm just her. I'm mm -hmm. just the fabric of her. And, and another way I explain that is like, um, what does your pinky toe on your left foot feel like right now? And you're like, <laughs> like how much you have to really focus to try to, dial in awareness to it because it's just you right it's and it's always been with you and so yeah. it's just been a part of your holistic experience since the time that you came into this incarnation it's just always been with you so it would be a little harder to differentiate between that that energy and the energy of some uh, an angel like metatron or sandalphon or uriel or any other energy that hasn't been companion to you in that way i mm -hmm. So contrary to the teacher that will go unnamed, uh, mm -hmm. who says that they can never be guardian angels, I would posit and suggest that everybody has this lineage and everybody has access to at least one archangel and everybody has an archangelic companion. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It doesn't mean it's the most bombastic dynamic relationship ever. It really is this familial kind of feeling. It's just always is. <laughs>